How's it going, everyone? Welcome to whatever episode number this is of the Games Well Show, some trendies video game talk show. I'm your host, Andrew, and today we have Emily and Thomas. Yo. Hello. How you guys? Good. Good. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to dip into Jessica territory and ask how you are. <laughs> so we're good? Doing but like, just fine. Why good. are we? W- wait, why? That's a conversation. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> not for this show. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're going to start the show off how we always started off with what have you been playing lately? Emily? <sighs> I've been playing anything lately. Oh, yeah, we had a busy weekend. No, we had yeah, a really busy weekend. All weekend. So yeah, I haven't played anything since the last game show show. Okay. So until dawn in Skyrim. Yeah. Perfect. But I literally haven't touched either yeah. since the last time we've talked. Well, so. That's fun. Yeah. It, it happens. I mean, if you're sitting there playing video games constantly, like when you have other shit to do, like I know. It's, you shouldn't be. I know. So. Thomas, I've been playing XCOM. Yeah. Playing games with gold lately. Yeah. It's so hard, but I'm, I'm figuring it out. Nice. I'm figuring it out. Just give your mic a little closer. A, yeah. I'm just going to make that judgment call right now. Okay. <laughs> no, I have a badass lady with a laser gun. Oh, I love... And she makes up for my poor de- decision making. <laughs> the XCOM gives me, like, gives everyone trust issues because it's like 90% accurate and never hits. But it's like right. 60% accurate hits every time. Like, right. I don't think those numbers are actually, like, representative of anything at all. It's just blind luck. That's why I always use grenades, even though, like, the scientist is always like, don't do that. I need bodies. And I'm like, I need soldiers. (laughs) I need to not die all the time. Um, I've been playing. I got back into Metal Gear Solid again. Mm. Um, And that's actually what I was doing right before I came over. Hmm, Which Um, one are you on now? I'm still on the fifth one. Um, I I started one. Couldn't deal with it because the controls are terrible. Went to two. Finished that. Started three. Hated it. Jumped to five. Oh. (laughs) All right. The game makes no sense anyway. Honestly, if I play them out of order, I don't think I'm losing anything. Hmm. I just Googled it a lot of it and talked to my boss about it because he's a huge Metal Gear fan. But, yeah. yeah. I haven't played any. I read the wiki pages for them. And They're oh. very interesting. I feel like getting the condensed version is a little bit of insanity. But Yeah. No, Jessica found my like my cliff notes and like my diagrams of the plot, and she just she looked at me like I was a psychopath. You have diagrams? You draw yeah. them? Huh? You, you like... Yeah, you like draw like character relations and like what act, things actually are and like there's to, so many plot twists and stuff. Like it's... Is it like a wall in your house with like string no, like, and tack? <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I don't have room in my house for that, or it would be like that. It's um, it's just like a notebook. That oh, okay. I have. Like one of the small ones, too, so I have a lot of pages filled up a bit because there's no one. I'm a whole lot of writing room. That's like nice. psychotic. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's so hard to keep track of everything, but it's so much fun. Yeah, it makes well, sense. I'm glad you're having fun. Yeah, that's all. That's what Jessica said, too. Yeah. Like, I told her today, she's like, What are you doing? She's at work, and I was like, Oh, I'm taking a bunch of my staff members from Metal Gear and quarantining them because they're all blowing up or some Metal Gear thing. And she's like, God, that game. I was like, I know. It's weird. And she's like, you're having fun. That's all that matters. I was yeah, like, yeah. exactly. Um, anyway, Emily. Yeah. Topic. What do you okay. have for us? Um, what historical character that there is not already a video game character mm-hmm. or a video game about mm-hmm. would you want to have a video game about? Does that make sense? The yeah. way that I said it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Historical person you want a video game about? There's not already one. Boom, go. Um. Do you want me to start? Yeah. Yeah, if you have one. Okay, so I had a few ideas floating around in my mind. Oh, I got one. Okay. I love ancient Egypt. Okay. So I'd probably want to do something um, Cleopatra, Nefertiti related, mm-hmm. potentially. Um, yeah. Or Harriet Tubman. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, because yeah. she Make, was like, like, like a Metal Gear style Harriet secretly- Tubman game. Like a badass. No, she was. She was an amazing exactly. woman. Exactly. I feel like there could be a really cool video game. Yeah, about I mean, Harriet like Tubman. Underground Railroad. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not like Thomas. You're the Civil War. Oh no, this is you're, you're the Civil it's War. It's roughly buff. a Civil War. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. Um, for some reason that was Civil Rights. I'm like, no, 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 no. That was much later. Yeah. I have right. no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, I feel like it'd be pretty cool. There's a lot. I don't know as much about it as you probably do, but I think it'd be pretty cool to do Harry Tubman. Yeah. It's one of those ones you wouldn't really expect either. Yeah, it'd be very uh, tasteful about it. Yes, but, that is one thing. Um, yeah, I think yeah. it'd be fun. Okay. Well, well, how would you, like, what are your ideas for Egypt? Would it be like an RTS type of thing? Or What's that mean? Like real time, like um, a strategy kind of game? Yeah. Kind of like Civilization? No, almost. no. I would want it to be something almost kind of RPG-like. Okay. Like, oh. I would rather have a lot of interaction and, like, lore. So, because there is so much history. Sand And, like... Yeah, Sandra. Would you want to be Cleopatra and Nefertiti, or would you want to be a character and you inter- interact with them a lot? Like maybe you're like an, a guard member for like them or something like that. Probably that one. Okay. Yeah. Because I feel like being them, since they were royalty, they kind of had things to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, would be tough. Yeah. I mean, I have always wanted like an Assassin's Creed set in ancient Egypt. They well, did so it. I think that's well, like. Apparently, that's what's probably going to happen next. Yeah. Ooh. Next year. Mm. Yeah. But um, 
Yeah, I would love something set in ancient Egypt. I guess it wouldn't be about a historical character then. But, I mean, you could interact with historical characters. I think yeah, that counts. Yeah, that's true. I think that counts. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. Well, Thomas, what, what... Oh, wait. No, neither of us have said ours. Yeah. That's so caught up in yours. Go for it, Thomas. Yeah. Um, I think you guys probably know what I'm going to say. Um, we talked about this one time yeah. last week. Joshua yeah. Lawrence Chamberlain. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was basically, like I said, just this ma- main school teacher. I think about it in college. I don't remember. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of this like nobody who just joined the Civil War on the Union side and just kind of like rose through the ranks mm-hmm. and... He's in these books that I have. I don't think they're in here. Um, they're in the, your big Civil War ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In there. But uh, I remember reading them, and I'm like, there's no way this guy is real. Like, he is some action hero they designed for it. Because, like, he does all this stuff where he just goes around charging around, you he's, know. He's the Rambo of the Civil War, based on how you describe He's him. like a strategic Rambo. Yeah. Like, he's, he's you know, got a little bit going on up here, too. But, <laughs> I just uh, thought of another good one we have done. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, like, at one point, he ends up getting shot off his horse and, like, trapped behind Confederate lines. So he just puts on this, like, southern drawl. Uh, that wasn't a southern drawl. But he, he said the word growl. Drawl. You like, said, I heard growl. I heard Growls, yeah. I would like to point out, I'm pretty sure he said growl. <laughs> I didn't say growl. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, and just is like, hey, guys, follow me. And then just, like, traps them. Like, he just leads them as if he's their general and traps them. And he eventually does become a general. So he's just a pretty cool dude. Who That's awesome. Just kind of lived a larger than life, like, true American hero. Yeah. Yeah, he sounds like a legend. Like, he yeah. sounds like, like, a, like, and I know Daniel Boone is real, but, like, a Daniel Boone-esque figure. Daniel Boone is real, too. Yeah. He would well, be yeah. pretty cool, too. Yeah. Like but like that. that, he's like I would put him on that scale, but he's just not as well known. Right. So yeah, right. A game would be awesome. Um, that'd be, be all yeah, about it. Yeah. Once again, it's a Civil War era game though, so the uh, loading and unloading and all yeah. that would be a little tedious. Put a, put, just put an emphasis, eff- emphasis on the bayonetas. Maybe like a tra- time travel one where he comes to like you know modern day. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Theodore I ruined Roosevelt. It. I ruined it. Ooh. The Ooh. Rough Riders. Yeah. Ooh, the, that would be cool. That would be, be cool. really cool. Like you just go around punching people? I would be down <laughs> for like a Theodore Roosevelt like alternate history where like he didn't become like super classy and was just like a tough dude. Like, Rough Riders. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. Or like just Theodore Roosevelt like before he's president. Yeah. You know? What about just like a fighting game made up entirely of presidents? And they just brawl. That'd be awesome. That'd be so good. Sorry, Andrew. You go ahead. No, no, you're fine. That sounds awesome. <laughs> These are all good ideas. Um, The first one that came to mind, and the only one that's really come to mind, is Joan of Arc. Mm. Uh, oh. I don't know a lot about her, but I know she was a hard ass. And she was really young, which is really cool. Um, so it'd be kind of cool to take her. And once again, I'm, I really like alternate history and do like an alternate history kind of thing with her. So... That'd be cool. That'd yeah, be they cool. just announced actually uh, the the day that we're filming that um, they're making an uh, Assassin's Creed novel um, about Joan of Arc. Oh, really? Yeah, which well, is cool. It's kind of disappointing that she's not going to be in any future games, probably because of that. Yeah, but, probably not. I mean, they already did France anyway, and they did the Sword of Eden stuff, so we probably wouldn't see her anyway. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, interesting yeah. that you bring that up. Yeah. So, how what kind of game do you think it would be? Uh, Ideally, like, I would just love a, a hack and slash. Like, yeah. just something really mindless and simple, but, like, right. with the, the really focuses on, like, a really cool story. Dynasty Joan? Yeah. <laughs> Dynasty of Arc. <laughs> <laughs> no, not not that hack and slashy. Not, like, hey, you finished the, like, mission. You slaughtered 40,000 people. It's like, okay. Like, let's, let's tone it down just a touch. Like, I'm thinking, like, Devil May Cry hack and slash. Okay. You know what I mean? So. Without the magic and whatnot. <laughs> but, Yeah. I feel like I could just go on and on. Yeah. You know yeah, this I mean? is a good topic. Yeah. yeah. It sucks that Jessica's not here because she's a huge history fan. Yeah. So she would have loved this. Yeah. Would've freaked out. But no, that was a good one. Because originally your topic was what superheroes... Well, Thomas kind of... That was my topic. Yeah, yeah. Thomas brought up, <laughs> like, what superheroes or fictional characters yeah. would you want? And I was like, boom, better. Let's draw from real life. Yeah. And like you dropped that on us like right before we started filming. Mm-hmm. So that was, that was an interesting twist. Yeah. All right, up next is Thomas. What do you got for us? So I'm going to use one I thought of a while ago. Okay. Um, what video game do you think you would do best in using your own real life skills that you have now as a person? Like, what do you think you would thrive in? And the rules are you cannot say The Sims because yeah. one, that's a boring answer. And two, I feel like none of us really have the real life skills to actually thrive in The Sims anyway. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a moot point. I feel like you have to like have like anti-skills to exist in The Sims. Do mobile games count? 
sure. Um, I guess. That's up to you. Thomas. I'll think about something more fun. Were you gonna say Angry like, Birds? No, no, I was gonna say like the ones where you're like in a salon and you do people's uh, hair. Oh, like, like the like, little kids play. Yeah, like Cooking Dash and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. but for like hair like, because that's yeah, what I, I feel do. Feel like that's a fair answer. Yeah. But I'll think of something more fun. Don't okay. worry. I've got mine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My favorite food to cook is Mexican food. Hands down, I love cooking Mexican food. So my game would be Taco Master. It's a touch game on phone and on PlayStation Vita where orders come in and you drag the ingredients on the shell and ship them out as fast as possible. And you just cook tacos. Nice. <laughs> that would be me. And there's different kinds of tacos. There's like, do we want to put chicken? Do you want to put steak? Do you want to put beef? And then later on, there's like, do you want to make fish tacos? Do you want to want crab tacos? Like crab tacos? Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's, it's pretty, pretty weird, intense. like swordfish and stuff like that. Like it's like oh, stuff wow. that like people probably I don't know they might actually eat it. I'm, I'm not sure, sure somebody's done it. Yeah, I'm sure they do, but like not. It's not as common. But yeah, I would be <gasps> oh ta- I would I would be existing taco master because I feel like my skills don't really translate well to anything else. I just thought of the perfect one. Okay. Sushi cat. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, your real-life skill is, like, feeding like, sushi to a cat? No, like, being a cat. And eating sushi. And eating uh. as much sushi as I can in a scuba <laughs> suit, because that's always what I put my sushi cat Naturally, into. Naturally, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be it. That would be number one. Okay. <laughs> I, I can agree. You can put some sushi down, man. I know. I eat sushi so fast, it's unreal. <laughs> we need to go down to Colombia and go get some sushi sometime. Yeah, definitely. Damn. I'm, like, over my, like sushi hating phase now good yeah he yeah. just ripped the band-aid off and had it again the other day so oh, yeah. i'm so proud of you thomas yeah. thank you yeah i had a bad experience with sushi at one time in my life but yeah I'm you can probably right infer now. what happened um but yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know if they can that's kind of cryptic he basically yeah. just threw sushi up everywhere yeah, yeah. All okay. over. i feel like that's Whatever usually what like yeah. the bad <laughs> sushi experiences is it's coming out one under the other so yeah. um <laughs> anyway Anyway, Thomas ate sushi again, and everything was fine, <laughs> everything so we can move on. <laughs> anyway, um, for me, I would probably say, I sound like such a tool now, I would probably say Dead Rising 2. Okay. Just because, like, that's a game about, like, very creatively killing zombies. I could see that. And, like, after the 4th of July with, like, you know, fireworks and stuff, I'm like, man, I could come up with some ways to kill some zombies if I had to. I could like, see it. It could be done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could totally see that. <laughs> oh yeah and like going and recruiting people and be like come on let's go let's yeah. get you back to base and then like you know you get like five people and maybe one of them makes it because mm-hmm. that's what always happens I'm, I'm bad at that game oh like, no no <laughs> i don't think anybody's actually good at that game like, like it's, it's not an easy game it's, um, it's to tough. do properly like how you're right. supposed to do it right um i have actually a genre that i'd like to nominate for myself yeah one because i love the genre more than i probably should uh tycoon games Oh. Uh, like roller coaster tycoon mm. and like all like the management like building management stuff like I, I'm, I don't know if I'd be good at it but based on like me playing the games I'm good at it right so I feel like if the mechanics were like that simple and like you didn't have to deal with like employees actual like personalities and stuff yeah like which I feel like I could do but like if you don't have to it's really easy and I feel like I could figure that out pretty quick I feel like <laughs> I could if it was like Thomas you have absolutely no limit on your budget Make yeah. the most badass roller coaster you can find, mm-hmm. and I could do that for a, if a job. If anybody's looking with an unlimited budget, wanting a badass roller coaster, come your man. Yeah. See, like I was th- like I when um whenever I'm just like I just, I'm trying to just hanging out, maybe watching TV and like just relaxing. I'll grab my computer and play Game Dev Tycoon, where like you start out oh, in yeah. a garage and you start a video game company, mm-hmm. and like you don't really have to make. You don't have to actually code anything because that would be boring, hard and boring to me at least. Um, I'm sure somebody would enjoy it. But like you just make decisions on like, this game is an action game, so you're probably going to want the gameplay to be better than the sound. So you like change the levels and stuff. I feel like I know a bunch about video games that I could <laughs> run that system, not yeah. actually code anything or like make executive decisions on what's important or anything like that, but just like move some sliders around and tell it then it will work. I thought of another one. Okay. Flower. So you're a flower. I am a flower. Oh, a flower okay. petal. You are my flower. Oh, that's nice. We're disgusting. Gross. All right, moving on. <laughs> so why would you be great at flower, Emily? Psh, because I'm a happy little flower petal floating in the wind, yeah. making other flower petals happy too. Yeah. Fighting uh, the decline of our environment. <laughs> All right. Eco <laughs> flower gets weird. Yeah, yeah flower gets really political. That's what I've heard. I haven't gotten that far yet because you both told me that. You guys are actually the ones that introduced me to flower. Mm-hmm. It was great. It is a good time. It is, yeah, it's a very really yeah. good time. Thomas, you got any other ones? 
No, that's about it for me. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I got any more. I think Sushi Cat was my ultimate. That was a good Just one. Just bounced me around various <laughs> locations that are covered in sushi. Yeah. And I got you. I think, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think Taco Master would definitely be mine. Just make tacos. Like, I've said multiple times, like, if I actually had, like, the, like, the more, amb- if I had more ambition going out of high school, I would have just gone and started, like, started cooking and doing that. But ship a restaurant. You can make the tacos. I'll make the salsa. Never own your own restaurant. If you learn anything from Kitchen Nightmares, it's that it's, like, any time you open a restaurant, it's a nightmare. Oh, yeah. No, I know. You could be, like, like the guy in Amy's Baking Company and just, just like, yell at everyone and, like, criticizes us. Yeah. I yeah. just want, like, people to give me money to cook for them, but, like, I want them to be my friends. I don't want to be, like, a personal chef. You know what yeah. I mean? So, like, I want to have parties where I host and cook for people, but, like, they, they like, I call them, like, okay, I need you to bring this, 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 and this. And, like, they bring it over early, I cook it all up, and then we, we have fun. Like, I would love that. I want to actually do it for a living, I don't think. We can do that sometime. I feel like we can or- arrange that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. Why Just be like, hey, I'm going to cook this, and text us what you need, and we'll go get it. Okay. Go. I make awesome... We'll su- make your dreams come true. I make awesome sweet potato turkey burger burritos. That uh, sounds wild. It's it it is because they're incredibly spicy. I think even Thomas would be like these are these are spicy, but like they've got that sweet from the sweet potato in it, so it's mm. ooh. Ah. Hmm. Got some cilantro and rime, lime rice. Sounds good. In there. Yeah. Oh. That does sound good. <laughs> anyway, back to video games. So Bioshock Collection was announced last week. Mm-hmm. Arkham Collection was d- uh, delayed indefinitely mm-hmm. about a week and a half ago now. My question is. Should remastered games still be sixty dollars? Hmm. Hmm. And so, a couple things to think about here. Some re- like some of them are actual like from the ground up rebuilds, which take a lot of work and a lot of resources. Some are just ported over, which granted still takes work. I'm not a game developer, so I don't know how much in comparison, but the assets are already there. Right. They're just uprising it and moving it over. So, something to consider. Let me throw this out there. Okay. With the Arkham Collection, Mm -hmm. and I really haven't looked into this that much because I already have all the Arkham games. Mm. But um, with it, from what I understand, you get the first two two Arkham games, right? Mm -hmm. With all of the DLC. Yep. To me, that's that's a pretty good deal because you're getting DLC, you're getting multiple games. It's not like you're rebuying just one Arkham game at base level. On the other hand, the Skyrim remaster that's coming out, Mm -hmm. from what I understand with that, it's coming with mods, which is cool, Mm -hmm. but you do not get your DLC unless you previously owned it on the platform. Or no, it's it's it's, only a PC. Yeah, it's PC. um, If you own Skyrim and all the DLC, you get the upgrade for free. Uh, if okay. you own Skyrim and maybe like one, none or one or two of the DLCs, you have to buy the full package or just buy the DLC and get the upgrade. With okay. consoles, it does come with all of them. Oh, it does come yes. with all but of them. But okay. do consoles come with mods? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, never. Mind. I I just think that as long as the original or um, the remaster comes with just a bigger package than the original had, more than just the remaster itself, mm-hmm. I think that it's a better deal. Yes. You're getting a f- more complete version of the game. Mm-hmm. Now, my my thing is, and like Emily, I'll, get, I'll give you this. This is just something else to think about with okay. variables. Okay. Um, people who would rebuy these games probably already owned them, and they do it for these big important games, these p- games that everybody loves. So a lot of people have already played these. So is it smart to do it for the full sixty because most of them have already played it, and it might people who are like. Yeah, that was fun. That'd be cool to have it, you know, on a new system and prettier graphics. But I don't know if I want to fork over all that money to do something I already own, unless you're like a diehard fan or you're like you're really into graphics. Right. So just something to think about. Um, I'm going to kind of agree with Thomas on this. I think that I would pay like I would pay sixty dollars for Skyrim with all the mods mm-hmm. and DLC and everything. Like I'll do it. Mm-hmm. I'll buy it next time. Mm-hmm. Um, because I love Skyrim. Mm-hmm. Um, but. It's kind of that thing of, like, I hate to just, like... I hate not giving a direct answer. Like, yeah. I'd like to be able to say yes or no. I mean, I don't think but there's like, a clear kind of answer to this. Um, I think that if it's just, like, a better version of the game, then not necessarily, like, okay. $60. Okay. But, also, I understand a lot of people put time and money into it, and they yeah. need to make their dollar. So, yeah. I'm, I guess yes would be my answer. Okay. 
Yeah. See, I'm, I, I mean, I, I agree with both of you mm-hmm. that there's um, certain things that, yes, I would 100% say $60 mm-hmm. worth. Um, for example, Bioshock, all three games, all the DLC for all of them, totally worth it. Um, Skyrim, worth it. Things like Devil May Cry, where there wasn't, there's was a couple things of DLC, but nothing was substantial. Mm-hmm. Right. And they just re released it. Did they? I didn't even know about exactly. that. Exactly. Um, yeah. Is that a full $60 price? I, yeah, I believe so. Hmm. Um, when it was launched, yeah. So, yeah, I think it, I think it really depends. Mm-hmm. Um, I like what PlayStation's doing with the, bringing the PlayStation 2 remasters to PlayStation 4. Yeah, that's cool. And just saying 15, the older bu- stuff. 15 bucks. Mm-hmm. That is cool. That's, that's great cool. because games aren't as big as they or aren't as big as they are now. Those games aren't. And those mm-hmm. games never once costed cost uh, 60 bucks in the first place. Well, oh, they did. PS2 around 50? No, they're still everything's been, they? they've been 60 for a long time. It's mm-hmm. actually cheaper to buy games now than it ever has been. Really? Yeah, just because mm-hmm. of the qual- like how much we're getting and inflate how inflation works and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's actually the cheapest it ever is to buy games. And so whenever he's like, "Oh, something $70 because it comes with something extra." Like that's still like you're doing all right here. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Well, just knowing like how many hours of play I get out of a game, mm. easily, easily spend that money. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know. Yeah. One thing I would I say um, about this, and I think it's kind of important, is with the. Um, I am vamping because I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Good job, Thomas. <laughs> oh, that's all right. The. Uh, uh, so yes. Yeah, so no, I was just something. making fun this of is, Thomas. This is going oh. on too long. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, no. So I don't know. I thought it was interesting to bring up. Actually, Jessica um, asked me the other day about it, and so I decided to bring it to, as a topic here um, because I I love Bioshock. Um, I love the Arkham games a lot. Those um, for the most part, those four out of the five games are some of my favorite games from last generation. So like, it's totally playing playing both of those. Yeah. But I have all of them. So do I want to? And yeah. I think I do. I got it. What did you think of? <laughs> um, so basically, like people, we talked about people that own the game still. Like mm. you and I both still own our copies of Arkham. We mm. both have a last generation console too. Mm. That's not the case for everybody. A lot of people. What uh, Arkham City came out twenty eleven, late twenty eleven. Is that right? Y- yes. I yes. So. Yeah. Yes. Um, that's like five years ago at this point. Yeah. It's very likely a lot of people sold that game. It's yeah. very likely yeah. a lot of people don't even have their last generation console. Yeah. If somebody looks back on that game and they don't even own it anymore and they're like, wow, I really had a fun time playing that. Mm-hmm. Now it's going to look even prettier than it's ever looked before. Mm-hmm. I think they wouldn't mind spending you know, 60 bucks for a couple games with all the DLC on a platform that they now have access to it as well. I think that makes sense. I think it also makes sense to do it. Um, I was surprised the Arkham Collection didn't come out before Arkham Knight. Honestly, yeah, that would have been nice. I feel like that would be a logical selling point, especially since it's not part of the collection. Exactly. So I feel like something like that is a really good way for people who maybe they didn't own next last gen console or they own like a Wii or something that didn't have those games, and they're like they're they're coming into the fold of you know third party developers and saying, hey, I can play these games now, but I don't I don't haven't played Arts, Art Asylum and City, you know, mm-hmm. but I want right. to play Night. It looks incredible. Blah blah blah. Like that's a really good way to transition in. So I think stuff like that is a really good way to market your future products as well as getting some money for making future products. So Definitely. good point. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? This yeah. is another really short one. I know. Well, we're just very to the point. Yeah. The three of us. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as loosey goosey as that uh, silly news show we do. <laughs> no, that news show is great. Uh, every Sunday night. At- I love how tangenty it is. It is. I do. Oh, I do yeah. too. Uh, every Sunday night at 7, Subtrending, hosted by Jessica, uh, our weekly news show. We do pick topics from the last week in geek, pop culture, geek and pop culture news and just do two-minute topics on them really quick. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's a, a really times. cool website, too. Yeah. Yeah, we have a really cool <laughs> website. Um, but thank you guys so much for uh, doing this. Yeah. And totally. we will be back next Thursday at 8. Um, I skipped a review last month because of logistic reasons. Um, but I will have one at the end of this month. I'm looking at doing I Am Setsuna for the PlayStation 4. Really excited about it. Um, inspired by old Final Fantasy and Chrono Trigger, so, mm. which is right up my alley. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, look forward to that. But in the meantime, until then, we're just going to keep doing these ones. Yeah. Because these are fun. We're going to do these. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. And we should have more con- much more content up. So, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on uh, Facebook. Give us a like over there. Uh, last week, we hit 300, over 300 likes. So, yeah. very exciting for all of us here so thank you guys so much for liking us over there um, check out our website it's really cool 
Jessica put a lot of work into designing it, and we put up articles every day, pretty much every day, yeah. uh, reviews, feature stories, opinions, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, go check it out, and we'll see you next week. I love Tom Felton. I was one of those freaks that, like, in middle school, was like super in love with Draco Malfoy. Oh, you would be. Yeah, I was all hairy. I, 